cation or an ion? Have you ever wondered how positive and negative ions form? Hello, Saipans! I am Ma'am Tasasela, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we are going to explore how ions are formed. We will find out what is happening in the atoms during the formation of ions. In addition, we will determine whether elements will lose or will gain electrons to become stable based from their valence electron. Furthermore, we will appreciate the importance of the formation of ions in attaining the stability of elements. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another ah, moment. Remember, an atom is made up of subatomic particles such as protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons are positively charged while neutrons are electrically neutral and both are found in the nucleus. Electrons, on the other hand, are negatively charged and move around the nucleus of the atom. Each element has a unique electron configuration, which is the arrangement of electrons of an atom in atomic orbitals. Electron shell is a part of an atom surrounding the atom's nucleus. The electron shell consists of one or more electron subshells or sublevels. Ah! Let us look at the electron configuration of sodium. 1, 2, and 3 refer to the first, second, and third shells. S and P are the subshells. And the exponent 2, 6, and 1 are the numbers of electrons that occupy the S and P subshells respectively. Take note that the maximum number of electrons that can occupy the S subshell is 2, while the P subshell is 6. Based on its electron configuration, the first shell contains 2 electrons. The second shell contains 8 electrons, while the third and last shell contains only 1 electron. Let us now look at the electron configuration of chlorine. Based on its electron configuration, the first shell contains two electrons. The second shell contains eight electrons, while the third and the last shell contains seven electrons. The electrons in the outermost shell of sodium and chlorine are called the valence electrons. These valence electrons are the electrons directly involved in the formation of ions. The number of valence electrons of an element dictates whether it will lose or gain electrons to become stable following the octet rule. For an element to become stable, it must have two or eight valence electrons. If the valence electrons are 1, 2, or 3, the element will have to lose them. Meanwhile, if the valence electrons are 5, 6, or 7, the element will have to gain 3, 2, 
or one electron respectively in order to complete the required number of electrons to become stable. However, if the valence electron is 4, the element neither lose nor gain electrons but instead share the remaining 4 electrons with other elements. Looking back at our previous examples, sodium has one valence electron while chlorine has seven valence electrons. What will happen to the valence electron of sodium so that it will become stable? Right, it will lose its valence electron so that the remaining number of electrons in the outermost shell will become eight. How about for chlorine? Right, it will have to gain one electron so that its outermost shell will have eight. Take note that whenever an element loses an electron, it becomes a positively charged ion because the number of electrons become lesser than the number of protons. This positively charged ion is called cation. Meanwhile, Whenever an element gains an electron, it becomes a negatively charged ion because the number of electrons become greater than the number of protons. This negatively charged ion is called an ion. The interaction of these ions results to the formation of compounds. This topic on the formation of compounds will be further discussed in another episode. Ah! Understanding how ions are formed gives us a clear idea on the behavior of electrons in an atom. It also shows that elements need to become stable by losing or gaining electrons. Finally, it helps us determine the chemical properties of elements needed in the formation of compounds. Ah! In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we found out what is happening in the atoms during the formation of ions. During the formation of ions, valence electrons are directly involved. The number of valence electrons of an element dictates whether it will lose or gain electrons to become stable. For an element to become stable, it must have two or eight valence electrons. If the valence electrons are one, two, or three, the element will have to lose them. Meanwhile, if the valence electrons are 5, 6, or 7, the element will have to gain 3, 2, or 1 electron respectively in order to complete the required number of electrons to become stable. However, if the valence electron is 4, the element neither lose nor gain electrons but instead share the remaining four electrons with other elements. We also learned that whenever an element loses an electron, it becomes a positively charged ion because the number of electrons become lesser than the number of protons. This positively charged ion is called cation. Meanwhile, whenever an element gains an electron, it becomes a negatively charged ion because the number of electrons become greater than the number of protons. This negatively charged ion is called an ion. Lastly, the interaction of these ions results to the formation of compounds. Ah! That's all for today, Sci Pals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, 
and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another Ah Moment. Only here in Agham Alam Hub, Palajans Sci-Tech Portal. Bye!